like in this day and age, the roles are reversed because men will willingly take your money and instead of tricking, they'll trick you. Hey guys, it's L2 What I Do because I'm back with another video and today's another segment of Spilling the Tea the Girlies. So this video is long overdue because by now we've all seen it. It's the infamous tweet about how a man hates his girlfriend. Well, let me read it for you guys. He says, that phase where you slowly start hating your girlfriend is crazy. His words. And that tweet went viral because the city boys were out. Like, they were in the comments talking about all the stuff they do to their girlfriend, how they don't like their girlfriend, how they wish their girlfriends would break up with them. And the women were also in that tweet talking about, oh my gosh, we knew you guys were like this, da 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 da, you know. You know how we be. <laughs> I was just scrolling through Twitter like, this is content. <laughs> like, this is what Twitter is made for. Like, it was just crazy to see everybody's reactions on it. And it really made me start thinking about like, why do men hate their girlfriends? Or why do people with partners hate their partners and stay? And I'm gonna be honest, I don't think a lot of the time you guys work out. Like, this guy that has his girlfriend, I swear they probably broke up. Or, is a recent breakup. But in my head, I was like, what would literally make a man hate his girlfriend? And sometimes, actually, I would say most times, it's not even one thing. It's an accumulation of things where it's like, all right, now I hate you. I don't know how you can say that that person is your significant other and you hate them. Like, that is weird. But it happens. And a prime example of this happening is when you love a man at his worst, they're gonna end up hating you. Let me explain. We all know that men feed off their egos. Like they want to be the top guy, the macho man and prove it to everybody else in society. That's just how they're inherently built because of the patriarchy. Hence why if he cannot provide for you, that's gonna hurt his ego. Or if he is not performing at his best, not fulfilling his purpose of what he thinks his life is going to be. Like if he wants to be a big streamer and he has no subscribers, you know those ones. I know you guys saw those ones. It's gonna hit his ego. Especially if in this time period, you are the one providing for him. Because you don't even have to say it. He knows that that is a bottom of the barrel behavior. And in that tweet, I actually saw so many comments about people being like, girls just love taking money from guys. Guys never take money from girls or they hate taking money from girls. Uh, I beg to differ. If it's one thing about guys is that, especially in America, there's that whole culture about them tricking. Like they will pay your rent, they'll give you money for clothes, shoes, bags, whatever the case may be. The ones that are up. But there's also those ones that take money from women willingly. Like they will willingly brag about the fact that they take your money because it's like a joke. Like why are you giving a grown man money? when a grown man can go out and do basically any job there is out there. It's like in this day and age, the roles are reversed because men will willingly take your money and instead of tricking, they'll trick you. They'll literally bring up a sob story, like talk about how this and this and this is going wrong in their life, like you're riding, if you're a real rider, you need to provide for them or help them out this one time, like this one time. <laughs> Or it's even like a bragging right to them. Like if they can go back and tell their boys that you bought them the new NBA 2K, it's over for you. <laughs> it's literally over for you. They love to do it. So never let people tell you that men do not like taking women's money or they secretly hate it and it like kills them inside because a lot of men will do it with ease. And this broke mentality, because <laughs> there's no way else to say it, this broke mentality goes back to that saying of, if he wanted to, he would. If your man is with you and he is not providing, just know that if he wanted to, he would go out and get any job he could pick up to provide for you and make things easier for you and not burden you. Keep in mind, like, you people that want to come for me about, oh my God, what if he can't, what if he can't? Okay, if there's things where it's like, he got injured or, I don't know. Like him being injured is the only thing. Like him dropping out of school or like his family situations. There's people who have messed up family situations and that makes them grind even harder. So 
And it's even the men that have the emotional trauma that are like, I can't do this because of my family situation or life is life thing maybe. That will stay with you as you provide for them. And keep in mind, you're also healing them at this point because you're probably their therapist. And they will stay with you until you heal them and they're whole. And then you know what they'll do? They'll walk away. They'll walk away because why would they stay with somebody who saw them at their worst? Because you constantly will just remind them of the worst time or the lowest point of their life. There might be the odd one that uses you as motivation, but a lot of those people had a dream and aspiration that they were working towards and they reached their goal and now you guys are riding together. And this is because men cannot see you do better with them or without them. Like if they leave you, they likely always like spin the block just to see what's going on with you now. Like God forbid you end up finding somebody better than them. But the thing is that when they are done with you, you're now in this emotional turmoil that you now have to repair yourself, which makes it even harder for you to rebuild because they've just like deteriorated you at this point. But us girlies can bounce back. Never forget that. Do not let a man make you think that you cannot do better than him or if he leaves you, you'll be damaged. So then you won't do better than him because you can't. But that just reminds me of this TikTok that I saw recently from Shallon Lester. And she talked about the fact that men when they were trying to do a dating experiment that they were on these men said that they would be okay with dating a woman that makes more money than them but then when the experiment started and they were actually put in rooms with people or women that make more money than them they saw that they physically could not even interact or be in proximity to women that they deemed in their head as more successful than them again going back to the notion that men cannot see you do better than them but let's say the roles are reversed and this man is making more money than you or he does have something going for him in his life that he's pursuing. There is still those notions that these men will hate on you without even knowing who you are. And one of those comments that I saw was just about the fact that men will not spend money on somebody that they're not interested in. I'm talking about even like physically or romantically or emotionally, like they will not spend money on you. And there's men that actually admit to the fact that they will give certain dates to certain women and then certain dates to other women. Like once I was talking to my aunt, shout out my aunt, but once I was talking to my aunt, she was like, do not let these men take you on a coffee date at your age. Because at this point, there's options out there, but you should know when you have the right option in front of you and they should spend the bag on you. You have to think about the fact that maybe he's saving his coins to take multiple girls on multiple dates. Because why wouldn't you blow the bag if you know that you have the right one in front of you or somebody with high potential in front of you? They would spend it if they think that you're attractive, if they're romantically linked to you, like they will willingly do it. Like women were just like, oh my gosh, we love people. Like I'd be willing to go on a date, do da da da, -da with this person. Whereas men's like, uh, why would I waste my money if I don't even think she's cute? Or why would I waste my money if it's not gonna go anywhere? Like they think sometimes reasonably and they'll just disregard you because of the fact that they have this preconceived notion in their head. So ladies, please be aware of that. If a man tries to take you on a coffee date and it's like you know your worth and you expect this to go somewhere, shut it down. So hopefully these pointers just show you guys exactly what you should be looking for or not looking for in your partner and the warning signs of these men that actually just hate us. But that's the end of the video guys, you guys know the drill, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below any video ideas you guys have for me, because I will do them. And always, I'll see you in the next one.